Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry, and as we get into today's analysis, I want to pick up where I left off on Friday. So if you are subscribed to this YouTube channel and you're getting the feed each day when the videos come out and following the work that I give you, you'll remember that from Friday afternoon, I was looking at this setup in Tesla and telling you that if it begins to pull back, and just the way that I did the video on Friday, I was saying if it pulls back on Monday and you see it down here below 800, I believe that it's cheap. And I think when you, you know, when you work through these videos and you really try to take the analysis and put it to work in your own plan, you've got to know that I don't know if the pullback's going to happen Monday. You know, Monday just happens to be the next session that the markets will be open. So that's when I happen to be speaking to it. All right. Well, in this case, you're going to have a quiet day on Monday. You get a little bit of a flush lower on Tuesday. And that ends up being the moment that I'm really trying to speak to that tells you that when it gets below 800, it is cheap and then ends up holding the five, the eight, these moving average pairs I like to use for a gauge of momentum, a gauge of whether the trend is actually still intact. So when you get below the psychological 800 and then also hold the eight EMA, well then you see the day like you saw today. So that advice I believe really has come through about as good as I know to offer it to you and then the next big question is where to from here? Well, on Thursday, you are going to have results from Amazon and from Apple. And if what we've seen so far, and this is, you know, a little bit of a guess, I'll give that to you. But if what we've seen so far, I mean, look at Meta, you know, you've got Facebook that's down seven. You've got Microsoft that actually ended up doing well on the report. You've got Google that had a big update on their earnings. So I'm just leaning towards the idea that Amazon and Apple may need a little bit higher off of their report in that move. And if those earnings guesses are correct, I believe that the SPX cash could reach 4083. The futures I'm watching more 4100. But if those earnings reports can help fuel the S&P in the way that we've just discussed, well, then that could help Tesla get up into 900 and that is very much a move that I am looking for so I hope that helps that the analysis is all taken in the correct context and helps bring an edge to your trading you have a great rest of your evening and I hope to see you in the next free video hey traders this is Henry with simplertrading.com I wanted to thank you for watching today's video I hope you found it helpful and if so be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below if you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.